Hey, what's going on today, you guys? How are y'all doing today? Hope you guys are doing well. Welcome back to another video. Mini truck here. And we are here at the yard for the terminal. Um, just turn in our paperwork. We are done for the day. Um, just got hooked up. Um, and we are about to be heading home. So, as you see here, there's the truck. There's our level yard. It's a mess. Um, but we are heading to Madison in the morning. And from Madison, um, not really sure. Originally, I was going to do a Lutzfield run, head up to Lutzfield like I've been doing. Um, but now it's saying I'm going to Lynchburg and I'm heading to Jack Daniels. So I guess we'll see. I don't really know. They both pay pretty good. But, um, I haven't been to Lynchburg. I haven't been to the, uh, Jack Daniels yet. I've been to Jim Beam. I've been to, like, two different Jim Beam facilities. And that's pretty cool. So, um, I guess we'll see. But it's been a pretty good week so far. It's Tuesday, so we got the truck, um, you know, all ready to go. We're in the morning. I don't know if y'all be able to see this. I don't know if it's gonna be too dark back here. Got got some of this stuff fixed up. Like I need it. So this this is a, I don't know if you can see. This is a three pack. Um, let's see if I can do this. It'll help. That's a little bit better. But this came as a three pack. I have this zip tied up here because I've had nothing but problems out of it since uh, I started using it. So I went back to this old one, which I've had since I had the truck. So uh, and this whole stuff I've been doing, um, just staying busy. Y'all see that beautiful? I need to get up higher. Beautiful Nashville skyline. So I promise there's something important in this video. <sighs> Look at that. Beautiful. Maybe it's because I'm biased and I'm just from Tennessee, but it's beautiful. So, anyways, let's get into something serious. So, before I take off, head home, let's get into something serious. So, I've been talking about it a couple different times. We're going to talk about it again. So, got some more info on it. Um,. Still ain't got any of my pay from USA yet. And a lot of people are saying, oh, you have 45 days. I have 45 days. Not entirely true. Um, at least from what I have found. If you find something different, let me know. But, you know, my last day of work with USA Truck was December 2nd. I should have gotten my final settlement. I'm not talking about the security deposit. My final settlement... I should have received on December 10th, I believe it was. Or it might have been the 9th. 9th or 10th. So, I didn't. They're like, oh, well, it's because we haven't received your equipment yet. Even though I'd already sent it out. They're like, oh, well, we haven't received it yet. So, kind of kept inquiring about it. And they're like, yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, we received it. Um, you should have it this following week, because that's what I originally was told. Okay, well, we didn't get it this week, you should have it next week. Well, that next week didn't come, oh, you should have it next week. Next week. And, you know, it's been about a month and a half. My time was a little bit off. I thought I'd been gone longer than I have been, but it's right at a month, uh, almost a month and a half now that I've been gone from USA. Almost, like, a, what was it, one month and a week and a half or something like that. <clears throat> and a month and a day since I should have received my final settlement, my final paycheck. So, I'd been doing some research on it. And according to the Department of Labor, the U.S. Department of Labor, they don't have any rule on how long a company has to send you your pay. Instead, they kind of help enforce what each state does. 
so it varies by state. Um, Arkansas was, if I remember correctly, was next pay period or seven days. Tennessee was next pay period or 21 days. Regardless, I should have already received it. Today, I messaged my old dispatcher um, once again, said, hey, still haven't gotten in my pay. What's what's going on? I need an answer, you know. I'm trying to be cool about it. It's not really his fault, so no reason to bite his head off, in my opinion. Uh, he said, all right, let me see what I can do. He got back with me within the hour. Um, what he told me was he basically sent me over what payroll had said. Payroll said that I should be getting my deposit on January 21st, 2022. And what was it? I'm trying to quote it word for word. Um, un unsure, but we are unsure what his settlement will be. And that's what he sent over to me. And I said, well, thank you, sir. I appreciate you getting back with me. But what's this about? They don't know what my settlement's going to be. Um, he said, all right, let me see. And all right, then he's like, all right, well, you should have already received like your settlement sheet. No, sir. Never received a settlement sheet. The last settlement sheet I received was December 2nd, um, of 2021. Now, of course I delivered my last load on the 22nd. Um, you know, on the last pay I got, or I received my last settlement sheet. Was it the second, the first, or the thirty-first, or, or the thirtieth? I mean, um, one of the two. And I got my final. I got my pay for that settlement sheet on the second. You know, so that I had one more week would have been paid out on you know for the week of the, the third and whatnot. Paid out the following week, right? So I was like, all right, well, let me see. And basically, got back with me again. I was like, it sounds like you're just gonna get it all at once. So, I should get a settlement sheet and everything all at once. I would not be surprised in the slightest if my pay is not correct, if I'm missing a load, or it's a bunch of, you know, stuff's been taken off of it. I would not be surprised. Um, <clears throat> you know, I don't get why they can't, you know, show me what my settlement's going to be already, so I can, you know, dispute any problems before then. But it seems like they're trying to do something shady, in my opinion. So, really kind of not cool. I do appreciate um, my old DM um, on Fleet One. I do appreciate him, uh, you know, helping me out with, with the situation. He's been very cool about it. So, you know, of course I'm not upset with him. Um, you know, he's, been, he's, been, he's been awesome. But as far as USA and payroll, like, what the hell? Um... From what I've read, they don't have 45 days. I think that's what they're telling us. Um, that what they're going to do it. And thinking, okay, well, they're saying it's 45 days, it's 45 days. Which is kind of what I took it at for originally. Um, but everything I've read, you know, which... I looked up the state of Tennessee, but it's more than likely going to go by the state of Arkansas based on how they're an Arkansas-based company. So... You know, I'm not a fan of it. Like I said, according to the state of Arkansas, they have seven days or your next normal pay period. I also read something, I don't know if this will apply, and I don't, and that might not even apply because where I was an independent contractor. That's the only thing I can find. I can't really find anything on independent contractors. So, I also read that if they don't pay you within that time frame, you have the right to demand double that, and they have to pay it, from what I've read. I'm still finding out some fine details on that, figuring out if that does apply to me. In that case, I want double. Shit, you making me wait. You guys trying to slip around and do some sneaky shit. I mean, I'm not with it. So... You know, if you're USA, I know a lot of people that are leaving USA, a lot of people that are, 
you know, finding other places. I know some people have just let their trucks go completely, so you know, they're not messing with it no more. Um, can't say that I blame them. But if you are with USA and you're planning on leaving, take this as a warning. One, have USA remove the equipment when it, you decide to finally leave. When you say, hey, I'm leaving and you know, you're, you're taking your truck somewhere else, you're doing whatever, um, have USA remove that equipment. Don't do it yourself. It is easy to do yourself. But that's longer you're going to have to wait for your pay. Um, so it's kind of worth that little inconvenience in the long run. In the long run, it'll be less of an inconvenience is what I'm meaning. So the next thing would be, me and somebody else talked about it. Me and Tony talked about this and he said, he said, man, I'm going to make sure uh, I get my final week's pay and then I'm just going to take off for another two weeks. I'm like, all right, you know, that makes sense. Kind of a sneaky way around that, you know, still giving them a, a notice, but uh, it's not working. Cause, I mean, you can't get a settlement for that, you know, because you're not going to get a settlement for that, so you're going to have your last your last settlement. You'll just be waiting on your deposit, so that makes sense. Um, but really, just make sure you got your money saved up. Make sure you can go a few weeks without a paycheck. Um, don't be relying on it. Because, like I said, I'm still waiting. Uh, that's about it on that. You know, I just, it's not cool. You know, I really feel like I'm getting fucked around on this, on this situation with USA. And like I said, I, on USA's end, I don't appreciate it at all. So. But I'm trying to, I am trying to, you know, keep a level head about it, but I do expect on the 21st to have that, that full $2,500, and if I was correct, see, this is, where, this is where they're trying to, I think they're trying to get people, let me explain this real quick, I don't exactly remember what I'm supposed to be getting paid, because I don't remember what some of those loads paid, now, I remember what one of the loads paid, but I don't remember what the other two paid. So they could very easily get me on what those loads were actually paying. Because, of course, I can't see any more of what they're paying. So I guess a quick little bit of advice to add on to what I already told you. when you If you are going to stay out and then leave kind of like I did, um, you know, do a few runs and then just be done. Um, write down or screenshot it. I might even have the screenshots. Um. I didn't think about that, but just something where you could see what the loads are going to pay so you can remember if they do this to you. Um, but if I was to take a guess, I should, I should take home. Now, this is taking out truck payment and all that stuff, um, which they didn't even pay my last truck payment. I had to like, catch up a week because I didn't realize that it didn't come out. Uh definitely 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 um watch for that though but it should be about fifteen hundred dollars fifteen to two thousand dollars what i should be taking home so hopefully it's uh, you know so i should be getting around four grand i guess we'll see but that's about it you guys a little update on what's kind of been going on with that situation um Everything's pretty gravy over here, though. Um, over here at uh, Forward. I've definitely been uh, enjoying it. Really cool people. Had an incident. I'll probably go over in another video. This one's getting kind of long, and I need to get heading back to the house. So Definitely got a little story I want to tell you on something else that happened um, with an, going into another uh, company's terminal. That we run into, we run into kind of often. So, but that'll be for another video. Till then, appreciate you guys watching. Y'all be safe out there. And uh, if you would like, share, subscribe. Let me know if you got any questions. Y'all be safe. Stay warm. And uh, yeah, that's about it. Peace out, you guys.